Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 34th series of uh, Principles of uh, Drug Discovery. In this uh, video, we are going to see about uh, molecular docking. What is molecular docking? Docking attempts to find the best match between two molecules, usually a target protein and a ligand. Docking is a method which predicts the preferred orientation of one molecule to the second when bound to form a stable complex with overall minimum energy that is between protein and ligand. The aim of molecular docking is to achieve an optimized confirmation and relative orientation between the protein ligand such as delta G when it is minimized. Let us see what is the importance of molecular docking. Molecular docking has become an integral part of drug discovery research in the recent years. The computational techniques are used to predict the binding affinity and orientation of small molecules with their target proteins. One of the significant advantages of molecular docking is the ability to predict the binding affinity of small molecules with their target proteins. The prediction uh, by molecular docking can help researchers to identify potential drug candidates before they are synthesized, reducing the time and cost associated with the traditional drug discovery methods. It is useful in optimization of lead molecules and design novel drugs with improved efficacy and specificity. Molecular docking is the key for rational drug design. Let us see the basic concepts of molecular docking. One is uh, shape complementarity. There should be geometric complementarity between the protein and the ligand, which can be performed using uh, search algorithms. Then simulation. In this approach, the protein and the ligand are separated by some physical distance, and the ligand finds its position into the protein's active site after a certain number of changes in the conformational space. That means it flexes. The interaction between the protein and the ligand is usually measured in terms of uh, minimal uh, binding energy with the different scoring functions like force field based, empirical, knowledge based and consensus scoring. Uh, what are the types of docking? Based on the type of the ligand, uh, the docking can be classified as protein uh, small molecule docking, protein protein docking, protein DNA docking and the regular other types are rigid docking, flexible docking, manual docking, ensemble docking and so on. So let us see first rigid docking. It is a type of uh, molecular docking in which the protein is uh, treated as fixed rigid structure and the small molecule is docked into the active site of the protein without considering any conformational changes in the protein. This type of docking can be useful for quickly generating a large number of docking poses but it may not be as accurate as other methods uh, that uh, taken into account the flexibility of the protein. Rigid docking is often used as a starting point for more complex docking studies uh, that incorporate uh, protein flexibility. And then next is uh, semi-flexible docking. In this method, the protein is kept rigid and the ligand is allowed to be flexible. In rigid uh, docking, both the protein and the ligand are rigid. Whereas in case of semi-flexible docking, the protein is kept rigid and the ligand is allowed to flex. In the semi-flexible docking calculation process, the conformation of the receptor is rigid and unchanged and only the conformation of the ligand is allowed to vary within a certain range. Usually the grid box is fixed. Only in the grid box, inside the grid box, the ligand is allowed to flex. Next is flexible docking. In this, uh, both the protein and the ligand are uh, flexible. There are several algorithms uh, that are commonly used in uh, flexible docking simulations. Some of the most commonly used algorithms include uh, Monte Carlo algorithms, genetic algorithms and uh, simulated uh, annealing algorithms. Flexible uh, docking is a type of computer simulation that is used to predict the binding of small molecule to a protein. In this type of simulation, the small molecule is uh, allowed to move uh, uh, in order to find the optimal binding confirmation. It uh, gives more accurate predictions than the traditional methods. In traditional docking methods, the small molecule uh, movement is fixed in a predetermined confirmation. 
by allowing the small molecule to move and change uh, its shape flexible uh, docking can provide more accurate predictions of binding affinity and help identify potential drug candidates then the next one is manual docking <coughs> manual docking is a process in which the researcher manually docks a small molecule to a protein in order to predict the binding affinity and determine the optimal binding conformation this is typically done uh, using a computer program that allows the researcher to manipulate uh, the small molecule and protein in order to find the best fit manual docking can be time consuming and labor intensive process but it can be a valuable tool in case of uh, in cases where the traditional docking methods are not effective such as when the target protein is complex or uh, a flexible structure manual docking can also be useful for verifying the results of automated uh, docking uh, simulations or for studying the mechanisms of uh, drug protein interactions in more detail there are several advantages to manual docking over automated methods one of the main advantage uh, is that the manual docking allows the researchers uh, to have a greater control over the docking process and provide more meaningful results however the accuracy of manual docking can vary depending upon the expertise of the researcher and is not always possible to achieve the same level of precision as with the automated docking methods next is ensemble docking it involves generation and utilization of uh, multiple protein conformations or uh, structures rather than relying on a single protein structure for docking simulations this technique recognizes the inherent flexibility and the conformational variability of proteins allowing for a more comprehensive exploration of ligand binding modes by considering the ensemble of protein structures it accounts for inherent dynamics and conformational changes that may occur during ligand binding thereby improving the accuracy of docking predictions next is induced fit docking the binding of the receptor is docked with the ligands in conventional virtual docking experiments where the receptor is maintained rigid and the ligand is allowed to move however as many proteins really experience a side chain or backbone movements or even both upon ligand binding the assumption of the rigid receptor might lead to false conclusions so these modifications enable the receptor to modify its binding site and better conforming it to the form and binding mode of the ligand this is sometimes referred to as induced fit and is one of the primary challenges in structure based drug design so docking algorithms there are many do docking algorithms one is matching algorithm which is geometry based then incremental construction which is uh, fragment based and uh, docking incrementally then multiple copy simulation uh, su simultaneous search it is also fragment based for de novo drug design ludi it is also fragment based for de novo drug design then monte carlo and genetic algorithms are based on a stochastic search molecular dynamics is a, is an algorithm for further refinement after docking scoring functions in molecular docking uh, there are different scoring functions one is classical force field based scoring function it is the sum of non bonded interactions that is electrostatic forces coulombic and van der waals interactions that is lenard jones potential it is uh, having a formula e total equal to e bonded that is the energy bonded and energy non bonded e bonded uh, refers to e bond angle and dihedral angles that is when the ligand flexes the bond angle and the bond uh, length increases or decreases that is taken into consideration then e non bonded includes uh, electrostatic uh, forces and van der waals forces the other uh, one is uh, empirical uh, scoring function it includes hydrogen bond ionic interaction hydrophobic effect and binding entropy etc uh, delta g bind equal to delta g solvation plus uh, delta g motion delta g configuration and delta g interaction so all these energies put together Uh, becomes a scoring function knowledge based scoring function it uh, includes sulfur aromatic uh, combination cation pi interactions then uh, the next one is uh, consensus uh, scoring 
so it comes like this uh, delta g bind equal to delta g solvent configuration confirmation uh, then rotational bonds uh, trans uh, rotation cis rotation and vibrations all these are considered into account in the consensus scoring the common force fields used in molecular docking uh, with the softwares uh, is one is amber it is uh, assisted uh, model building and energy refinement charm chemistry at uh, harvard molecular mechanics gromos it is uh, groninogen molecular simulation mmff it is developed by merck uh, merck molecular force field then mm2 mm3 mm4 opls uh, which is used by schrodinger glide optimized potential for liquid simulations uff which is universal force field pmff physics based molecular field so these are used in molecular docking as well as molecular dynamics docking with the softwares we will see the algorithms and scoring functions so glide uses a monte carlo algorithm uh, scoring function is uh, glide score uh, the autodoc uses a lamarckian uh, genetic algorithm uh, the scoring is uh, empirical free energy calculation gold that is uh, genetic optimized for uh, ligand docking that uses genetic algorithm gold score surflex surflex uh, dock algorithm it is bombs scoring function is used flex is a docking program it uh, uses incremental construction algorithm it is uh, the scoring function is uh, modified bombs scoring function molecular virtual uh, docker uh, it uses evolutionary algorithm and the scoring term is mol doc and the next is fred uh, which is fast rigid exhaustive docking it uses uh, exhaustive search algorithm scoring is uh, gaussian uh, scoring function ligand fit uses uh, monte carlo scoring is uh, lig score or piecewise linear potential potential of uh, mean force v life doc and i gem doc uses uh, genetic algorithm and uh, in v life uh, doc the scoring uh, function is a plp score in i gem doc it is empirical scoring so there are some algorithms and scoring functions in each and every uh, docking software so let us uh, put together we will see molecular docking so the the target proteins are taken it may be enzymes receptors ion channels or transporters you imagine imagine it is a lock and you search for key and that is a small molecule so you bind this and study this so you study the protein target ligand complex so suppose if the protein is a target enzyme then the key is a substrate when it binds to it it creates a target enzyme substrate complex where it may trigger the enzyme activity or inhibit the enzyme activity so it's outline of molecular docking i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series of videos in the principles of drug discovery playlist in pharma topics channel thank you